Now, after drawing the full area that I need to calculate its flux level, here comes the important part of the full process, which is selecting a suitable light fixture that should be compatible with the type of the ceiling in this particular area. The ceiling type is decided by the architect. Based on the type, whether it's false ceiling gypsum or tiles, or in some areas there is no false ceiling, only the concrete slab is decided for the project. We can get this information from the architect. Now let me show you how a false or suspended ceiling looks like. This is one of the types of the false ceiling. It's just a plain type. Usually this type is used in hotels, shops, and in other buildings. Also, it could be used inside rooms. But for offices, we will usually see this type of false ceiling, which is called tiles type. Usually we will use a 60 by 60 light fixture recess type for this type of false ceiling. We can also have no fault ceiling at all, like this case. This is a pump room, which usually does not require any fault ceiling inside. And the lights will be directly installed within the slab of the ceiling of this room. Now, to summarize the types of lights, let us look at this word file here and check different light fixture installation types. The first type is a recessed type light, which fixed within the fault ceiling. As you can see, this is a 60 by 60 recessed type, which is installed in a tiles false ceiling. This is how the 60 by 60 light looks like when it's removed from the fault ceiling for maintenance purposes. As you can see, it is recessed within the fault ceiling. Another type of light, which is also recessed, this is a down light and is usually installed in inside the fault ceiling of a gypsum like this one. Also, we can use it or see it in tiles type, but for most cases, it will be installed for such a type of a fault ceiling. The second type is a surface mounted light, which can be also installed on fault ceiling or on slab ceilings. As you can see, this is an emergency light fixture which is installed as a surface installation on the fault ceiling. The difference between this one and the recess type is that the recess type is embedded within the fault ceiling, while this surface mounted type is installed on the surface. Another light type here is also a surface mounted and fixed on a gypsum false ceiling type. At this area, there is no false ceiling, and we are using a surface mounted light type that can be directly installed on the slab, or it can be also like this one, or it can be also installed within a surface of a trunking like this case. Usually for these types of ceilings, we use the pendant type, which we will see in a moment. The third type is the pendant or suspended lights, which also can be installed in ceiling slab or false ceiling types. This is an electrical room. And as we said before, rooms which are having like equipments heavy equipments or a lot of electrical equipments will not have a fault ceiling. So this is a pendant type which is supported by a metal rod. This is another mechanical room which has no fault ceiling and the light is directly installed to the slab of the room and it is supported by a chain. This is a pendant light type, but this one is installed on the false ceiling. As we said that the pendant light type could be installed directly from the false ceiling or slab ceiling. This is another light type, which is installed directly to the slab ceiling. But the difference is that this is supported by a steel cable. 
we don't really care about the type of the support but we i'm just showing you the different type of lights for a slab ceiling and there are different types of supports the last type here is the weatherproof or waterproof light of course these lights can be installed anywhere and for any type of ceiling and also can be installed on walls like this one over here this is a weatherproof light and can be installed in a ceiling and sometimes they're installed in walls as you can see it is totally enclosed so does not allow any dust or water to enter this is a wall mounted type which is installed inside a toilet and it's a waterproof type now, weatherproof lights are installed in areas exposed to dust or water, like toilets and outdoors. This photo or diagram shows the IP rating of lights. The IP rating consists of two numbers. The first number declares the level of protection from solids or dusts, whereas the second number declares the level of protection from water as you can see the protection from solids is from level one to level six whereas the water level protection is from one to eight now for example if i have a light fixture rated ip64 it means that the light is fully protected from dust because level six declares that it's dust tight and no ingress of dust and the protection from water is of a level of four which is protected against water splashes with a limited ingress permission now this means the higher the number of the ip rating chosen for the light fixture the higher the level of protection against intrusion, dust, accidental contact, and water. To summarize this, in order to choose a suitable light fixture for a specific area, we should be able to have the information about the type of the ceiling in this particular area. And as I said before, we can get this information from the architect. This is all what we need to know about the selection of a suitable light fixture.